Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Natalie. I'm working at a HPC cluster. Today, I'm going to share how can we install Gormax on a HPC cluster. This is an introduction about the Gormax. In case you don't know what is a Gormax, and also in case you um you are thinking about another Gormax. So today we are talking about the Gormax, which is used for molecular dynamic simulations. I don't want to read this rule. Um, you can check Gormax website to get more information about the introductions. And in order to in install Gormax on a HPC cluster, uh, because HPC cluster is a shared uh, environment. So we want to check the module environment before we install the Gromax. A lot of HPC cluster use modules environment um, to manage the packages. So if you are not familiar with this, I'm gonna introduce a, a few useful commands you can check your module environment after you log in. As you can see, if you log in, uh, you will see a username and your login node and the cluster name. And uh, you should be on your home directory if you type module list command, you will list the loaded modules. A lot of clusters, will have the default loaded class uh, modules, but uh, there are also HPC clusters, they don't have any default loaded modules. Um, then if you want to know what modules on the whole HPC cluster, you can use module avail to check um, the available modules on the HPC cluster. Um, in addition, if you want to search if there is a module for the applications you are interested, you can use module spider, uh, the, the application name. For example, we are interested in FT, FFTW library. We can use module spider FFTW to check what versions are available on this HPC cluster. And if you uh, specify the versions, let's see module spider FFTW slash 3.310, you will uh, see the information to tell you how to load the modules. All right. So now we are familiar with the module environment of your HPC cluster. We are gonna start to work on the installation for the Gromax. Um, today I'm gonna discuss how can we use the G GNU compiler to install, to compile Gromax. You can also uh, choose entire compiler or the um, one API uh, compiler from Intel to install Gromax. Uh, if you are interested in a different uh, install Gromax with different compilers, you can comment under this video and let me know. I can um, uh, create another video to talk about it. Um, so the first step to install Gromax is to get the code. Um, Actually, we can use wget um, to download the source code from Gromax uh, website. And I'm gonna talk about 2022.4 version. You will see different uh, versions from the Gromax uh, website if you are trying to download the uh, newer version or older version of Gromax. And after we download this, this source code, we should enter this tarball file uh, using tarxf. We'll, um, and then we 
navigate it to this this uh, folder using CD Gourmax uh, twenty twenty two point four. And now we are in the folder which includes the source code of Gourmax. The next step will be we need to prepare our environment to install the Gourmax. Uh, like like we discussed before in the previous slides, we talk about a, uh, the module environment. We don't want any module loaded uh, for this uh, process. So the first step, we unload all the modules. No matter what modules has been loaded, we unload everything um, by using the module dash dash false purge. So in this way, we purge every module. And then we load our compiler, which, which is GCC. And we also load the MPI libraries because we want to run Gourmax in parallel. And the other two necessary modules we need is FFTW library and the CMake. So we load all the modules. And then you can use module list as we uh, uh, discussed to check what modules you have loaded for your current environment. Then after we prepared our environment and we have our source code, we can start up installation. First of all, we need to make another folder we call the build. And then we navigate to this folder, CD to build, and run this command. This is a long command. Please run this command in one line if you uh, copy this or do not separate this to, into two lines. This is all in one line. And this will specify what parameters we want to include in this installation. And also, I also put the prefix here, which means um, I want to install my Gromax on my home directory. You can put any path here to change the path you want to install your Gromax. And here you can check the Gourmax website to see what options you are interested in and you want the options being on or being off. Um, and then you can put all everything here. After we run this command, we can use another command, which is make dash G uh, four means we're gonna using four CPUs for this in, in installation. And then you will see a lot of information uh, printed on your screen, which shows, which will indicate your installation of Gourmax is running well. Um, and after this, you will use another command, which is make install to finish the compilation of Gourmax. If everything runs well, you won't see any error message. If anything went, didn't went well, you will see a error message in the end of the command. And uh, if you want to uh, start it over from the beginning, um, I will recommend to delete the build folder completely and run the uh, to create another then create another build folder just to clean the caches we left from the previous installation which is a failed one and to and now everything went well and we got our Gromax on our account and if your HPC cluster using Slurm as a job scheduler. This is an example to submit a Gromax job. If you are not familiar with uh, Slurm uh, submission script, I will um, show you where to find the, the uh, information about it. For now, we can just pretend that we know uh, what is Slurm and how to submit a job. So I uh, here is the 
uh, the Slurm command will show will tell Slurm about my information, and then we need to uh, prepare the environment. So we run module purge to unload all the modules and load the modules we loaded for the installation, which is GCC OpenMPIF FTW modules. And then we export the path. Uh, to, to, uh, we add the parts to our environment to let the computer know where they can find the executable for the Gromax simulations. And then we start off MPI run um, because we already export our path. All right, this is, uh, um, I know this is a very um, uh, brief presentation, but hopes this in, uh, presentation can help you to uh, understand how can we, um, um, how can we know about the module environment on a HPC cluster and how can we install Gromax on our own account on, a, on an HPC cluster. This is a reference I would recommend to check. Uh, the first one will be Gromax uh, website. You can find a lot of inform useful information there. And the second one is the uh, Gromax menu to about how to install the Gromax on a cluster. And uh, I also list the reference for the Slurm scheduler if, if you are not familiar with Slurm and how to submit a job you can go to here to check the information. Thank you for watching this video. And if you like this video, um, please put a thumb up and also subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for my next video. Thank you. See you next video.